Richardson, uh, co-owner of Anchor Bank Glassworks. These other guys behind me are uh, the other owners. Excellent glass floors. The gentleman there, Justin Tarducci. And the uh, gentleman on the left in the white shirt is uh, Timothy Underwood. Uh, together, we make up Anchor Bank Glassworks. Uh, right now, Justin's going into what's called the furnace. It's the light floater of our company. It runs 24-7 at about 2,000 degrees. And he's getting the, uh, the clear glass out. And ultimately, he will be making what you see Tim making there. It's uh, one of our clear uh, holiday trees. It's actually blown and sculpted. But right now, Justin has a hot molten blob of glass at about 2,000 degrees. There's a tiny air bubble in there. He's working on what's called a blow pipe. It's hollow all the way through for actually inflating the piece. Um, but realistically, it's not as, as much inflation as you would think. It's a little bit more uh, utilizing heat and turning. So it really should be called glass turning or glass blowing. Um, you can see him look closely. He's actually trapping a little bit of air in that hollow pipe. And with his thumb, he's uh, making sure that air is going up into the hot glass instead of out the back end. So we're going to uh, basically, with the equipment we have to reheat the glass. That way it's going to be hot enough to actually go into the uh, aluminum bowl we have. That way it gives it nice ridges and uh, for us to cut out the branches of the tree. That's probably one of the toughest pieces of making. Every piece that's handmade is going to very slightly look as identical as possible. Sunglasses, got to look cool. But really, uh, there's a lot of uh, heat and um, you know it gets it gets pretty tough on the eyes looking at that all day. So uh, got to protect what uh, what allows us to see and make beautiful work. So we're using a pair of what's called diamond shears. When you look at it, it creates a nice little diamond. That way, when I cut this, it leaves a nice round edge instead of a pair of straight shears that leave a straight mark like the branches. Make sure the top of my clear tree is nice and clean. A little fire polishing. Great thing about this piece is we get to play with torches, blow and sculpt it all in one foul swoop. So there you go, tree. Um, spark of the torch. Uh, it's just an oxygen propane. Of course, I'm just uh, fire polishing the bottom, getting it really hot, hotter than the rest of the tree, kind of spot heating it. And then I'm going to press it down really hard on this graphite pad, flatten the bottom. And the reason for doing that is that uh, when we go to grind them down, it'll uh, expedite that process by uh, already having a flat spot there, flat, straight spot. So we just kind of clean up the bottom. By, Touching it on the grind wheel. That's why it sucks, yeah, cools down pretty fast. Oh, this is flat. I put it in the oven to cool down, so tomorrow afternoon we'll take it out and grind it down.